BACnet calendars. BACnet calendars allow you to override a scheduled event. In this sense, you can consider them as exception schedules, consisting of dates only. Calendars are associated with a schedule. For example, if you want to reduce energy costs in your building during company holidays, you can create a holiday calendar. On these days, your calendar can command the system to reduce the output of heating or cooling systems when the building is unoccupied. We continue where we left off with the scheduler and select calendar 1 via the related items and send it to the primary pane. The right panel is immediately updated and shows us that this calendar is associated to two schedulers. This workspace is very similar to that of the scheduler. We switch to the list view and see that only one exception is defined in this calendar. We open this entry and recognize that the exception is the start of each new year. Here too, we have an add new exception dialog box with the difference. Here we cannot make a scheduler assignment, but we have the four different exception types available, as we already got to know them in the scheduler. The association between the scheduler and the calendar must be defined in the schedules, as shown in the previous subsection. Therefore, these four exception types behave in the same way as with the scheduler, where we have already presented two types. These four types can be used to define all types of exceptions in the calendars. We will show this in the context of the management station calendar. In the next two subsections, we would like to introduce you to the management station calendar and the very helpful global calendar feature associated with it.